Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows updates causing problems and issues and breaking things on Windows and in Windows is not a rare occurrence. And it seems that recently updates have been causing headaches, especially for developers, RT admins in enterprise and corporations, and also for PC enthusiasts like myself. And a lot of you view this channel. And currently it feels that Windows updates are breaking things more often than they should. And this is very evident in the release of last year's annual feature update version 24H2 of Windows 11. And most videos I've posted on 24H2 have been about updates breaking things. So if we head to a playlist on the channel, just quick, quick recap here. We can see here that most videos I've posted on 24H2 are regarding issues to keep you guys posted. There's another issue, another one, another one, another one. So you get the general idea. So 24H2 was not Microsoft's best version of Windows ever. But recently we have had a couple of unnecessary breakages when it comes to the Windows recovery environment and also the media creation tool for Windows 10. Now with Windows 10 support now officially discontinued, which Microsoft discontinued as I've posted on the 14th of October, which was last week Tuesday, Windows 11 is now the only supported version of the operating system Microsoft has to offer. And because of this, with the end of support of Windows 10, now I'm not talking about LTSC versions, I'm talking about your average Joe, your average home user who runs Home or Pro of Windows 10 and Windows 11. So with Windows 10 support ended now, I think there are a growing number of Windows users who are getting frustrated and I see it in the comments um, on the channel on a daily basis. And there has been a lot of debate around the fact that Microsoft's CEO has himself said that 30% of Microsoft's code is written with the help of artificial intelligence. And I think it's left a lot of Windows users scratching their heads that that could be a possible reason why Windows updates are breaking things more in Windows seemingly more than ever before. And because of this, I think confidence in Windows updates is failing. And Microsoft needs to restore trust in Windows updates to its user base. Now this leaves us in a bit of an awkward and strange situation, and I see it in the comments almost daily, where more users of Windows are actually pausing updates out of fear that something important will break, understandably so, which kind of has Microsoft shooting itself in the foot, so to speak, because it goes directly against Microsoft's own security advice to install the updates for security and bugs and stability and so on. But if you are pausing updates because updates are breaking things on your system, then Microsoft is actually shooting itself in the foot. And it's an eye-opener to think that people feel safer avoiding updates than actually updating to keep safe. Then you know something has actually gone wrong. So as mentioned, with Windows 10 now officially at its end of support and end of life, according to Microsoft, I don't think Windows 11 and Microsoft can afford to feel unstable or unpredictable which I think a lot of users are feeling regarding Windows and Microsoft. And I think Microsoft needs to restore its trust in Windows updates, thereby gaining back a lot of trust of its user base. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with us? Don't you? Always interested to hear. I'm always open to good constructive input and criticism and comments on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.